What's up guys, TG back here with another video doing a recap of the Mines Season 3 finale. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy it and let's get into the recap. The episode starts off with Easy and Gabby waking up together. Gabby wants to know if Easy is sure about going to Lodi with her. Easy says that he is and that he just needs to tie up some loose ends with the club. Miguel sees the news of the governor's assassination and is clearly in distress. Emily then wakes up and she's clearly not feeling great from the night before and she goes over to the bathroom. While she's in there, she finds her pills in a different place from where she normally keeps them, with some of them missing. She picks up the wine glass on the floor that is still next to the bathtub and looks inside. She doesn't fully remember the night, but she has her suspicions. Alvarez leaves his house to carry out the order of killing Easy and Nestor is outside waiting for him. Nestor says that Miguel told him to ride with Marcus in case there is trouble. We see one of the Santo Padre club girls with her car at the shop telling the mechanic there's something wrong with it. It's revealed that she's inside the Yuma Charters club and that there's a bomb inside the car. Easy, Angel, and Gilly are waiting and watching outside from a parking garage nearby. The girl calls them and tells them that the bomb is set up but Conche isn't in there. Taza gets a call from Paulo's sister who said that he came by asking questions about him. She said that she's worried he's going to come back and that she needs a gun for protection. Taza says that he'll see what he can get for her. Potter's assistant agent Anna is sitting in a restaurant when Adelita comes and sits down. Anna says that she's revealed to see her because she thought they were sending Adelita to her death. Anna says that after Adelita's baby died, she blew the whistle on the operation and in return she got sent to a shitty station. Anna believes that she is going to be killed but Adelita doesn't do so. She just demands Potter's location which Anna gives up. Easy, Gilly, and Angel see Conche arrive at the clubhouse, but then see that he has his young son with him. Angel wants to call it off because he does not want to kill a kid. Gilly says that there may not be another chance to do this and thinks they should consider doing it. Easy decides to take the phone connected to the bomb and goes to get up closer to the clubhouse. Once he sees that the kid is a safe distance away from the car, but Conche is near it, he'll blow it. Easy gets up close to the clubhouse window and sees that the kid is a safe distance away. Conche starts to approach the car, but then his son calls out to him. He turns around and sees Easy through the window. Easy takes off and activates the bomb. The car shop explodes, and Easy, Angel, and Gilly take off. They go back to their clubhouse where everyone is waiting for them. Hank says that there was multiple casualties, including Conche. Easy and Angel sit outside of the clubhouse, and Easy tells Angel that Gabby is going to Lodi and that he's going to go with her. Easy talks about how easy the club life is for him and that he would have easily killed the kid if he had to. That's why he needs to get away. Angel says that it will suck to not see him at the table, but that he understands. Letitia comes by the clubhouse and tells Gilly that she needs help because Coco is missing. Gilly says that Coco is out of the club and that he can't be a part of anything to do with him. He says that Letitia can't come around the club anymore and tells her to move on. Letitia screams at him and the club in general and leaves. Miguel and Nestor are sitting in the car, and Nestor gets a call from Miguel. Miguel wants to know if Nestor thinks if Marcus is up for killing a Mayan, and Nestor says that he isn't sure. Miguel also wants to know if he knows what to do if Marcus isn't up for it, and Nestor says yes. Easy is at his trailer, and Emily shows up in distress. She says that she thinks something happened to her the previous night, but she's not sure because she can't fully remember. Emily sees that Easy and Gabby are leaving and says that it could have and should have been them, but they messed up their chance, and now she doesn't know what the future has in store for her. Easy notices Emily's neck and wants to know what happened and who did it to her, but Emily now brushes off the situation. She says that it was on accident and that she overreacted. She kisses Easy goodbye and tells them to go have a good and peaceful life with Gabby. Gabby is at Felipe's shop waiting for Easy so they can tell Felipe that he's going to go with her together. Gabby ends up admitting to Felipe that Easy is going with her before he gets there. Felipe sits her down and says that she can't save Easy and that he'll go back to his ways and that he will take her down with him. He tells her that she's better off going by herself and leaving Easy and that's the only way that she'll be safe. Abra meets up with the other charter presidents and explains now that Conche is dead, peace can come to the mines with Bishop as the one king. Diaz and the others agree. Diaz gets up and goes to give Abra his jacket back. He turns around so it could be placed on his back, and then Conche walks in, revealing he's alive. Diaz shoots Abra in the back of the head, killing him. Miguel gets a phone call from Potter. Potter says that the kid rebels who got captured at the governor's assassination are saying that they work for Miguel and that he gave them the order. There is now a murder warrant out for him, and his properties on both sides of the border have been seized. 
Authorities will be there in about 45 minutes, so he has to get ready and leave. Emily is at a restaurant with Cristobal, and she gets a call from Miguel, which she ignores. He then calls one of his men that's with Emily and has her put on the phone. Miguel tells her what's going on and says that she has to go to the safety deposit box. He also says that as long as he is with her and their kid, he'll be okay. Emily hangs up and immediately leaves the restaurant. Easy arrives at Felipe's shop, and Marcus and Nestor are waiting outside in their car. Nestor says to take the shot before he goes in, but Marcus says that he'll wait until after he leaves because Felipe has seen enough tragedy there at that shop. When Easy gets in, it's just Felipe there, and he tells her that Gabby is gone. He wants to know what Gabby said, but Felipe doesn't answer. He then realizes that Felipe is the one that caused her to leave and wants to know what he said, but he doesn't say anything, and then Easy leaves the shop. He gets on his bike and drives off with Marcus following. They stop at a red light, and Nestor says to pull up beside him when the light turns green so he can take the shot. Marcus instead just sits there and puts the car in park, saying he realized his loyalties are with the mines. Nestor points a gun to his head, saying he'll kill him and then go and kill Easy because his loyalties are with Miguel. Marcus pulls a gun on Nestor, asking him if he wants to be an errand boy or be his own man. Easy arrives at Gabby's, and there's a letter for him on the door. It says when the summer returns and the roses bloom but Easy leaves the letter on the doorstep and rides off. Paz gets to Laura's house and it's shown that Paolo is there and that he's been there the whole time holding Laura and David hostage. He made Laura get Tazza to come over. Paolo says that they won't be Mayan brothers long and hints that they have a surprise coming to the Santo Padre Charter. Paolo points his gun to Tazza's head, but Tazza is able to attack him. Paolo does get the upper hand and gets on top of Tazza. He's about to kill him, but Laura shoots and kills her brother. She screams at Taza and tells him to leave, blaming everything on Taza and his secret. Taza takes Paolo's mind's jacket and leaves. Potter is with his girlfriend and son, and he goes out to the market and leaves them at the house. When he gets back, they are gone, and Adelita is there. Adelita has a knife and is threatening Potter, who reveals that her son is actually alive. Potter says that he has no good reason to let her child die, and that it's his only leverage over Adelita. Adelita doesn't fully believe him, but Potter says that she'll never know if she kills him right there. It's revealed Marcus and Nestor have come to an agreement and are watching the news about Miguel's estate on TV. Nestor gets a call from Miguel, but he ignores it. Miguel is waiting for Emily so they can leave on the helicopter. Miguel's man that was with Emily arrives, but without her or Cristobal. Miguel wants to know where they are, and the guard says that Emily gave him something to give to Miguel. He hands Miguel a bunch of pills and her wedding ring. Coco is still tied up, and Isaac is about to kill him when there's an explosion outside. When Isaac runs out to see what happened, Gilly comes in and frees Coco. Isaac realizes what's up, and the group catches up to Coco and Gilly. They're prepared to let them go, but Coco wants Hope to come with them. Isaac makes it seem like she has the freedom to choose for herself and that she has free will, but Hope knows that he'll never actually let her go, so she stays back. Coco and Gilly leave, but then Coco quickly runs back and shoots Isaac. Before anything could happen, one of the meth heads yells to stop and says that it's over. Coco takes Hope and leaves with Gilly as Isaac dies. Bishop is at the table when Taza comes in. He tells Bishop that Paolo set something big in motion and then hands him his gun and says that he may want to use it on him after he hears the truth. Easy returns to the clubhouse and Angel hugs him. Easy says that this is who he is and where he belongs. We go back to the table where Taza has just confessed everything to Bishop including killing Riz. Taza says that he is sorry for everything he's caused and that there's probably more to come. Everything that has happened this season and everything that will happen next season is all because Taza started this war by killing Riz. Bishop picks up the gun and Taza tells him to do what he has to do. We then see Easy standing outside the clubhouse and a gunshot is heard. Right after, Molotov cocktails start flying over the fence onto the property. A vehicle is ramming the gate and the mines from the other charters are riding outside the fence as the season ends. That was another really good episode and really good finale. I did like episode 9 a little bit more, but this one is a close second place. It was really intense, and I did not know who was going to make it throughout all of it. The ending was a perfect setup for season 4 too, as we have a bunch of problems. Obviously, the One King situation did not work, and now we have to wait until season 4 to see how that's going to play out. But it is going to be very intense and very good. Season 3 is definitely my favorite season so far, and it's tough to see it come to an end, but the show is really just getting started in my opinion. Because that is the end of the season, I obviously won't be having a consistent weekly uh, upload about the show, 
but I do have some more in mind. I'm going to be doing some more Season 3 reviews and some early Season 4 predictions based off of this finale. Also, if we get any news or any updates on Season 4, I will be making videos on that, so be sure to be on the lookout for it. Thank you guys for watching, and thank you guys for keeping up to date with these recaps throughout the season. Leave a like and leave a comment down below on what you thought of this season and this finale.